This is Pastor Byron from Life Point Church in Lexington, North Carolina. During these months, as we have learned the best we can to live with COVID-19 and living under the pandemic, one of the things that I've been doing is reading through the book of Job found in the Old Testament. Now, you want to talk about somebody who's living a difficult life? Read the story of Job. No one could argue that his life was punctuated with hardship, with brokenness, with headaches, with what seemed at the time he was experiencing these circumstances great unfairness. Most of us have learned during COVID-19, if we had not learned previously, life sometimes can be difficult. Actually, the Bible tells us the very opposite. The Bible doesn't tell us life may be difficult. The Bible tells us life will be difficult. The Bible says life will be challenging. Scripture says there will be times when you will not understand what is happening in your life. So when life becomes unfair, when we become angry, when our anxiety increases, when we reach the point where we have the audacity to question God. What is he doing? Why is he allowing this to happen to me? I say to you today, from the sincerity of the bottom of my heart, grow up. Life's never intended to always be fair. Never intended to always be just. Never always intended to be on the mountaintop. There will be those times of difficulty. There will be those times of unfairness. We go back to Job. Job was a godly man. He was a prosperous man. He was a successful businessman. He earned. He was a, what we would call today a self-made billionaire. No one gave him anything. He was a good husband. He was a good father. And yet in a 12 hour period, he was reduced to a broken man, a man of grief, a man of poverty. And not long after that, after he'd lost his business, after he lost his home, after he lost the farm, the cattle, the servants, standing by the graveside of 10 precious children. He would begin also the loss of his health. I cannot imagine standing before the graveside of one of your children. I certainly cannot imagine standing before the grave sides of all your children. Was Job weeping? Well, of course he was weeping. He was crying out his heart to God. He was broken. And he, he's trying to understand. But then we find the words of Job, a man of great character, a giant of the faith. Because Job is standing there by the great side of his children. And he speaks these words. Whether God gives or God takes away, Everything comes from God. And I will trust in God. 
His wife, who is perhaps lying prostrate on the ground before her ten children, she cries out to Job and she said, Oh, Job, just curse God and die. Curse him and die. You see, Job is in one of the darkest moments of life that anyone could ever experience. And God is silent. We often misunderstand the silence of God. We sometimes assume that means he doesn't care. I've even had people say to me, well, God's not aware. If God were aware, he would be doing something. My friend, let me tell you, just because you can't see God, just because you can't feel God, does not mean that he's not aware. It does not mean that he's not doing anything. It just means you don't know what he's doing. If you're familiar with the Bible, you know there are more than 7,000 promises in the Bible. And one of the 7,000 promises written to the children of God is, I will never abandon you. He didn't say I would never be silent with you. But he said, I'll never abandon you. I'll never forsake you. You may not understand my ways. You may not understand my words, but I promise you, I am with you. And then, and then Job and his wife stood up and somehow found the strength to walk away from the cemetery. Perhaps they went to the house of a friend, wherever they went. The people who were gathered around them, rather than bringing what we do in the South, and that's a casserole for everything, instead they brought him harassment. They made fun of him. They accused Job of sinning and in his sin causing the death of his children, causing all of his problems. How can people be so thoughtless? How can they be so unkind? Do we not listen to what we're saying? And yet in the midst of all of this, God is silent. Remember the words of Job. God gives and God takes. Blessed be the name of God. Wherever you find yourself today as you're listening to this devotional, may I remind you God is faithful. Great is the faithfulness of God. Will you? Will you remind yourself of his faithfulness? Will you remind yourself he hasn't abandoned you? You say, but Byron, he's silent. Okay, he's silent. Maybe. I'm not trying to speak for God, I don't know, but, but maybe God is being silent, waiting on you to be silent. So that when you're silent, God can talk. But this I know, God can be trusted. God is always faithful and God will never abandon you. This up and down of the pandemic, not knowing from one day to the next what it's going to be, this too shall pass. During this time of upheaval, move closer to God. Love Him more. Trust Him more. Our Father, I pray for wounded, hurting people, people who are struggling, People who are in the valley and they've lost their way. God, may this devotional be a word of encouragement. May it bring strength into the heart and the mind and the soul of all of those who are listening. 
And may we join with Job and say, God gives and God takes away. Blessed be the name of God.